Today, the U.S. Army announced a string of actions implementing recommendations from the Fort Hood Independent Review Committee. The review was in response to the murder of soldier Vanessa Guillen and examined the, com the command climate and culture on Fort Hood. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell spoke to Army leaders about their response to that report. The series of actions announced today would address not just the concerns on Fort Hood, but across the Army as a whole. Among the changes are the restructuring of the U.S. Army Criminal Investigation Command and redesigning the Sexual Harassment, Assault, Response, and Prevention Program. It's, it's being thrown into the mix as we look at uh, how to improve a program that provides proper prevention and response for our, sex, for our soldiers that may be be victims or survivors of sexual assault. During a telephonic media roundtable, Army leaders said since 2001, the Army has benefited from being the most trusted profession after 9-11. But the killing of Vanessa Guillen at Fort Hood have fractured that a bit. They say they have to do better to build trust with America's sons and daughters. Being from a, from a, really from a narrative standpoint and a transparency standpoint, it's about talking to all uh, the parents out there, regardless of uh, gender or ethnicity, and that they all understand that their kids, when they send them to us, that they will be uh, trained, that they will be taken care of, and that they will be safe inside of our formations, and that nothing else is acceptable. The Army also updated a policy requiring a full investigation of all suspected soldier suicides occurring on or off the installation. Reporting in Colleen, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. And to read the Army's response to that review, you can visit our website, kcentv.com.